Okay, so in this video it's going to be a bit different because I'm actually filming at a sort of a workbench type thing. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be applying some thermal paste to my Sony Vios CPU. So let's get to disassembling it. Oh, I forgot one. It helps if I remove every single screw that holds the thing together. Yep, that helps me right there. There we go, and that should just come away now. So I can just pop that to one side. And then we now have access to the CPU cooler. Now to get access to the cooler I just need to remove this screw here. And that can go here. There's no more screws on the fan assembly. So now we can just remove the screws on the on the CPU cooler itself, which is where the CPU is located. Now I should just be able to move and plug the fan. And then just remove this. Which of course I'll need to remove the old thermal paste. So to do that, I'm gonna need a piece of tissue and some isopropyl. Now what you're going to need to do is you need to remove thermal, the old thermal paste with isopropyl alcohol so is that when you apply the new thermal paste it makes good thermal conductivity. So if I just remove this now. Okay. That has been removed. And we can also remove the uh, thermal paste that's on the processor, which you need to be very careful because it's kind of delicate. So, once we've done that, we can now take our thermal paste and we will apply a generous amount and get the thing open. God, I can't get it open. Really won't open. Um, bear with me a sec. So 
like this stuff is literally there we go, I've got it now I've got it so then what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to uh, apply some of this thermal paste into the CPU make it a generous amount There we go. Nice amount there. And then maybe use the tube to just spread it out a bit. Make sure that it's covering the dye. Maybe it'd be a good idea to get rid of some of the excess. Which Thermal paste isn't conductive, but I always like to make sure to remove excess. And now we can reapply the cooler, although the cooler does need a bit of dusting, which I suppose we may as well do that. So just remove some of the dust that's on the heat sink there. I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I mean, I can see through the heat sink thing, fins just fine. So now, we just assemble the heat sink back onto the motherboard, making sure that everything lines up properly and that it makes good contact with the microprocessor. And when tightening the screws, it's good to do it in a diagonal pattern. So tighten this screw here, and then tighten this screw here. So then you know that it is firmly secured. And this one. I believe was here. And now we can reassemble the whole computer. crunchy but oh well So then I have successfully replaced the thermal paste in this CPU and uh, yeah it seems to work fine now. I would assume that the response times are going to be quite fast because the CPU will no longer be... Th oh and the battery's about to die. Well that's kind of useful so yeah I guess thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.